Hey, this is Miss T. We're going to talk today about things that will make you shake your head in church. <clears throat> and I mean, these are just things that have happened in the church that I have witnessed, but it will make you shake your head. Like, if you're standing next to a person that gets happy and they're doing the running man and have on no deodorant, I think that'll make you shake your head. Um, the choir was in the fellowship hall praying one morning before we got ready to walk up into the uh, choir stand. And one of our uh, members was running late like she always do. And this particular Sunday she had not combed her hair before she left the house and she proceeded to go into the kitchen of the fellowship hall and find a plastic fork and combed her hair before we got through praying that ended the prayer service right there. Just make you shake your head. <laughs> oh Lord. And speaking of body odor, let me go back to body odor. It's, it's worse when you're in the choir stand standing next to somebody. Now we know fresh breath is not always possible to maintain after 30 minutes of singing. Let's just be real. It's just not there. Okay. It's just not there. But if you're standing next to somebody singing and got body odor, that keeps you from being the best alto, tenor, soprano, first soprano that you can be. Because you can't sing trying to hold your breath, trying to make sure the stink don't come up in your nose, you know. And then if the choir's marching in and y'all go by the musician, she gonna forget what she playing. She gonna change the tempo of the song and might forget what she was playing and the key she was playing in because it's just that bad. But those are just things that have happened in the church that just make you shake your head. Mm -hmm. Y'all take it easy. Keep in touch. Bye-bye.